Speaking of bears, I'm reminded of our plant guru, Evan Kozlovsky. They called him Brown Bear back then. Ah. Brown Bear? Plant guru? Yeah, he was almost like a real hunter. Ooh. Always on the prowl through the plant in search of devices that could cause problems. He detected deposits in valves from changes in the flow sound. Kozlovsky simply had a good eye for the way things should be. He later got into trading in the stock market. Yeah, so we had to disassemble everything on a regular basis. The plant was shut down for two days in a round. We went with our tools and we had to make it snappy. In the end, I am not exaggerating when I say that I could take things apart and put them back together in my sleep. You young people of today can't do that anymore. No, but we don't have to. Of course, device maintenance is still necessary. But the goal of Profibus is to replace cyclic maintenance with event-driven maintenance. It doesn't need a guru or constant inspections. It can signal that something will be needed soon by itself. Handled properly, it'll reduce maintenance costs and extend the service life of devices. After all, all that screwing on and off can't be good either. Let me give you an example, a valve. Like so, it's still functioning, but it's getting more sluggish. Ah, ah! If the operation exceeds a certain time window, the device raises an alarm and sends status information to the plant operator as defined in NAMER Recommendation 107. For instance, maintenance required. The plant operator informs the maintenance team and a technician connects directly the device to find out the exact problem. At the next opportunity, perhaps during a production turnover, device maintenance is performed or the device is replaced if necessary. When the Profibus condition monitoring is used correctly, all of these downtimes can really be significantly reduced. Here, here, the Profibus Guru speaks. Oh. <laughs>